house just before this whole thing happened. Not only was it uh, just a house, I bought my first house. I bought my first house that I was going to turn into a rental property. So, March, end of February of 2020. No, 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 no. We closed mid-February. I think I'm pretty sure my um, closing date was like Valentine's Day. It was a good time. It was a really happy time in my life because this was prior to everything happening. So I spent the rest of February fixing up the house, like rest of February, beginning of March, fixing up the house, renovating it to get it ready to be a, a rental, which was the whole plan and the whole point of me buying a house. And then, you know, uh, this thing happened. We know what we're talking about here. And it affected my job. It affected the renovation, of course, because I had to stop where I was. So luckily this house, a little bit of backstory on it, it's tiny. It's um, a little less than a thousand square feet. It's a three bedroom, one bath, uh, one and a half bath. So I had spent about a thousand dollars fixing it up on my own with the help of like friends and family, mainly just like me and my parents. And a thousand dollars did pretty much everything i was able to you know clean up when i got there we painted we um took out the baseboards um the baseboards still need to be put up but there was just it was looking pretty clean pretty good you know it's gonna be a rental so it's not like i was turning it into the four seasons and so i had to stop where i was around end of march and so now here we are in may <laughs> and my house has just been sitting there so now things are kind of starting to ease up again and I'm not sure if it's gonna stay like this but there's a few things that I uh, that I have left that I need to pay someone to do like putting up the baseboards because um, I don't want to use a nail gun and my dad is not very handy so you know there's that and there's some like drywall things that I wanted to have fixed so it's a it's a pretty difficult time and I'm pretty sure the the value of my house is like also depreciated uh, or is that at least going to and I have been skidding by the skin of my teeth making these uh, mortgage payments now which are on the lower end because again it was a rental so and it was an older house from the 70s and it's in Florida so it, it was not not like super out of reach um, for anyone that had like you know a decent job and saved up a little bit of money it's very doable i saved almost all the receipts if not all of them so i'm going to tally up what i've spent so far and what i need to spend less because at this point i was going to try to have you know a video ready for you guys that show the full renovation and just a regular rental renovation video but that's not what this is that's fine um but yeah here we are I know a lot of people are trying to find ways to make money and one of the ways people used to be able to make money would be to uh, you know rent out of their house or just a room in their house on Airbnb and now that's not really an option for a lot of people so trying to find solutions during this time when you have a property that you need to pay for is really tricky and my house is pretty close to the stadium where the Super Bowl is going to be next year here in Tampa so you know originally I was going to have it be you know an Airbnb and then I was like well you know just the smarter idea even though it's less lucrative would be to turn it into a rental and now that's even kind of out of the picture so you know times are tough things are changing things could always be worse it's the only thing that keeps me sane at night, even though, you know, my bedtime has switched from, uh, you know, going to be at bed at 10 a.m., <laughs> going to bed at 10 p.m. to now 5 a.m. So it's crazy. It's really, 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 really crazy. And I am with you all in this difficult time and just wanted to get that, you know, share this little bit of information. If you have any questions, just... Leave it in the comments below if you want to know a little bit more about like how I was able to save up to buy a house and like more specs on the house and everything like that. Uh, I'd be more than happy to make another little video um, kind of about the 
pre-process and because it was a really long escrow process so it was started in end of December and went until February which is not it's supposed to be 30 days and not three months so if you want me to talk about that I can uh, you know kind of let you first-time homeowners know about your options how to help with the down payment getting grants their free money like if you qualify your credit there's a lot of little things that I had to learn um, kind of on my own and like doing some research along the way so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope this video um, was kind of helpful to give you an idea of what's going on in my life and the housing market and the life of you know renters and landlords and hosts and everything like that so I hope you guys all stay safe um, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again you know go ahead and press that red subscribe button you know join the fam and right now I'm just in a stage where I'm pretty much just you know following everyone back so go ahead hit that like hit that subscribe and I'll be sure to love you give you some love back so all right guys it's the end of the video thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one